Hey everyone, we are here at Asians on Film Film Festival and I have two uh, celebrities here with me. Go ahead and introduce yourself and then uh, your, your much better half. Well, well, uh, well, let me start by introducing Louie here. Uh, <laughs> Louie is uh, a five-year-old English bulldog who is featured in the film Key Luke. Uh, by uh, directed by Timothy Tal, and my name is Kelvin Hanyi, and uh, I'm I'm Louis' people, as we say in yeah. the in the film industry. No, absolutely. I mean, I know you know they have to go through you if they want to do a photo shoot with them, interview them. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, Louis' very. I, no, I, seriously, I gotta tell you, everywhere I go with Louis, you know, he's like a, he really is a celebrity. Oh, yeah. He gets a lot of attention, and um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you want to do anything. If you want any Louis access, you have to go through Kelvin Han Yee before you, you can get access to Louis at all. And Louis actually in one of the films that's going to be here at Absolutely. the festival. Absolutely. Tell Absolutely. me a little bit about that. Um, the film is called uh, Key Luke. And uh, I think what's uh, really interesting about the film, it was directed by uh, Timothy Tao, is that it, it bridges a lot of different genres. It's part documentary. It's part uh, a live action recreation of history. It's, it's about an Asian American actor, which is very apropos, uh, being that this is the uh, uh, Asians on Film Festival. Uh, he is one of the first uh, Asian American actors. He was born in Seattle. Uh, and he started working uh, here in Hollywood around the 30s and 40s. Uh, he was actually the original Cato in The Green Hornet, wow. which is, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Even, like, I think when it was on the the radio, and uh, of course, the Green Hornet was later played by Bruce Lee, which, uh, and, and that sort of made him famous. Uh, and Key Luke was uh, in many Hollywood films, uh, uh, and uh, the series Kung Fu, and, uh, uh, and he was really instrumental in um, uh, breaking down a lot of barriers and really being a first yeah. of, of, of uh, Asian American artists uh, in, in Hollywood, and he was a very good actor. And uh, uh, Timothy Tao made this film uh, to uh, to give homage and to so, uh, for us the the younger, well, other guys are a little bit the younger generation. I'm I'm, I'm kind of getting up there, but um, uh, for us to to remember and to uh, respect and to um, uh, to get inspiration from from those who who, who went before us. Absolutely, that, that's such an important um, and a historic role. I mean, everybody knows Green Hornet. Everybody knows, yeah, yeah. you know, the the dynamic between the two characters. Now, um, let's talk about you. I mean, you know, looking you up, you've done so much. You've done. Uh, you looked me. You you creeped on me or something. I did. I did. That's kind of creepy. I don't know if I. You look. <laughs> no, because I, I knew. I only met you like I met you like like three minutes ago, right? No, because I recognized you from from Milk. But then it was like I was like, oh, I'm gonna see all the other stuff he's done, and then I was like, whoa, you've been in a lot. So tell me a little bit. I mean, you've been on Hawaii Five O. That's the other one I saw you on. Um, tell me a little bit about you know the different roles on television, how you keep keep staying so relevant because you've been in movies and television for a while. Um, uh, I think staying relevant is about staying truthful. You know, um, uh, as an artist, uh, any kind of an artist, you, you, I, I think you want to be truthful to your experience. Um, and I think ho Hollywood has, in the past, uh, not given us uh, uh, the opportunity to be truthful to our own experience. And I think Asians on Film Festival is is one of the organizations, is one of the ways that uh, our community uh, can now uh, be truthful about our own experience and tell our own stories and and uh, and exercise our creativity on in our way and do our thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And why is Asian on films? Why is it so important to have an event like this? You know, why'd you come out? Why are we supporting? Why is it a big deal? Um, you know, the, the the Asians on film or organization. Uh, I, I'm I'm very good friends with them, and they have for the past what, five years or, or, or more, uh, have been really giving access to a lot of uh, uh, artists that, that, that don't have access. You know, you, uh, access for filmmakers, uh, for distribution and for uh, showing in film festivals is more limited than you think. Uh, uh, certainly for, 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 for big major feature films, it is the corporations that own all of the theaters. Uh, and then for independent, uh, and, uh, and smaller films, um, uh, 
uh, you know, you're, you're playing the festival circuit, but what Scott uh, uh, Erickson sort of discovered was that uh, a lot of the film festivals are um, uh, uh, very clubby. You know, you, the, the, the very sort of insular uh, little groups, and 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 they uh, they push their the films of their friends and 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 things like that, uh, and. Uh, Scott runs this film festival in a very different way. Uh, it's very, uh, very accessible to everybody, and uh, and I appreciate that. So I, I'm a big supporter of this film festival. Lastly, is there any films that you're excited to see, or is there any actor you're excited to meet, or is there maybe the overall thing? Uh, it's really the overall thing. You know, um, I, I haven't uh, really done a whole lot of research on the films. I like to be surprised. You know, I sort of like to come and sit down and uh, as, a, as, a, as a blank slate and, and let it affect me. And I'm never uh, uh, disappointed by the Asians on Film Festival. Uh, uh, like I said, it's very diverse. So, uh, a, lot of, a lot of films, different kinds of films get access to this film festival that you wouldn't see anywhere else. Uh, and uh, it, it's going to be playing uh, here in uh, in Los Angeles all weekend, right? Yeah. Uh, until Sunday. Uh, uh, tonight is Friday, the, the first night. But uh, uh, w come on out and see it because it's a it's a great film festival. It really is. Absolutely. Well, this is probably the last time that we're going to get to talk to Louis because he's going to become so big that it will it'll take months and, and years to just get even like a, a two minute statement. But you know what? He's been great today. He didn't sure. bite the mic. I was scared he was going to eat really? the mic. Really? Yeah, yeah. He licked it and sniffed it, which is totally fine. Well, licking and sniffing mics is, is okay, I yeah. guess, right? Yeah. All right, say goodbye, buddy. Say bye, Louis. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right, you guys, we're here at Asians on Film Film Festival. It's been a great time talking with you, man. And uh, have a great time. Thank Just enjoy you so yourself. Much. Here, here, I'll, I'll, I'll bump your, uh, your mic. Absolutely. All right, you guys. Bye. Bye.